time for our final star to perform her favourite routine. It was just one of many highlights in what's been an eventful series for Suzanne Shaw. Dancing on Ice has been one of the best experiences of my life. I'm just so thankful I've had this opportunity. I've got such a special friendship out of it. Matt has really made my experience on Dancing on Ice extremely special. I truly, truly have enjoyed every second on the ice with him. I think I've felt every single emotion possible, but I've loved every second. A great moment for me was when I conquered the headbanger. It's such a dangerous move, but actually nailing it on the night was such a great feeling. How do you feel now? <laughs> when we performed to music and we got on top of the leaderboard, it was such an achievement. That gives it 27! We've been tailing behind Chris for so many weeks and we finally got there. It was incredible. <laughs> 60s week was a memorable performance for me because it split the judges' opinions. It is not easy doing those lifts and tricks, and I think you are underestimating You're her. going not to have just to because. Not Shut up, for goodness sake. One of the favourite things on Dancing on Ice is the costumes, the hair and the makeup. It's not every Sunday you get to dress up with glitter and have complete bling. I feel like a doll. <laughs> My son, Corey, will be in the audience watching me in the final with his big smile, and I would love him to see his mummy be crowned the winner. Skating to music. Please welcome onto the ice Suzanne Shaw and Matt Evers. Absolutely perfect. And then the roll up into the high splits. And then the headbanger finish with an added triple twist and bounce. And once again, within inches of contact on the ice. Well, she scored the perfect 30 for her flying performance. Here's the second set of marks. Karen six again, Nikki six, Jason six, Ruthie six. It's unbelievable. <laughs> well, once was amazing, but twice. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's an 
what a night. You won't forget this in a long time, will you? <laughs> that, uh, that head, the headbanger there was unbelievable with the, with the twisting. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Would you like oh. me not to ask you anymore? No. <laughs> okay, let's leave it. Jane and Chris. I've never seen anyone do that in the headbang before. It's amazing. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. You'll be doing the Olympics soon, will you? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll skip that. <laughs> well done, both of you judges. Well, for Suzanne, this night is turning out to be quite an incredible one. Everyone's in tears, even Jason. Fantastic. Robin. <laughs> And who'd have thought it? You had a soft side. <laughs> Robin, let's come to you. It is very exciting to see the journey these people have come on and to see you looking like a pair team. Yes. Fortunately for those people at the Olympics, headbangers and <laughs> rotational spins aren't allowed. <laughs> but I've seen them with pro, pro uh, skaters and I've seen them do a headbanger, I've seen them do the twister. I've only seen one other pro team. They've been together for 10, 15 years to do the twister and the bounce together. Fantastic job. <laughs> Suzanne, all I can say is you are the total package tonight. Yeah. Tonight you are giving a champion performance and clearly you have improved all the way. That was even better than when you did it in week seven and that was your strongest performance. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. Well done, you. Fantastic. Remember, you are voting for which two stars you want to see perform Bolero in the final skate-off. If you want Suzanne to be one of those stars, then give her your vote now. Suzanne and Matt!